Hello, this is Trisha Reinhardt again over at the library and I'm going to talk to you in this video about the research guides we have. So I guess the ultimate question is, what is a research guide? So basically we describe it as a series of one-stop shops that cover anything from how do you conduct your research, how to choose a topic, how to cite your sources. Um, and so they're, they're tools that you can reference back to if a librarian has been to your class and you forget what the librarian told you about using the limiters or um, if you're trying to learn how to do something and you, you work well with self-directed learning. Those are also um, good for that. So you get to them from the library homepage, which is where I'm starting at. And just a refresher, you can get to the library from the menu button on any Regis College page. We're under academics. You can get to us through Regis resources, if that is what you use for your um, email and Moodle. And speaking of Moodle, you can also get to us through Moodle. So underneath that Regis College drop down at the top of the Moodle screen, there's a library link and it'll take you right to this page. And so our research guides are one of our main buttons. They're right, it's right here underneath the power search box. So when I go in, it's going to show you our list of 96 guides. Um, and right now they are listed alphabetically. So if you know which guide you're looking for, um, you can just scroll right down to where it is in the, in the alphabet and choose it. Um, but a lot of times you don't know what you're looking for, um, which is fine. So we try to make our titles pretty descriptive so you know what it is you're clicking into when you get to it. So for instance, there's this one on annotated bibliographies. So if you're doing an annotated bibliography and you want a little more information about what that is, how it works, um, we have a guide for that. And we also have guides for citing your sources. So we have right here, if you're in nursing, medical, psychology, anything like that, you're gonna be citing your papers in APA style. And we do have a research guide for that. And when I click on it, I'll show you what a research guide looks like. So as you can see here, it is broken up into tabs for the different pieces of the topic. Um, so how do I format my paper in APA? Um, how do I formulate citations? How do I formulate the references list? And our most popular tab is our reference examples. So these are the most common types of references that we get asked about at the research help desk. Um, and so if you need to, let's say, cite a journal article and you forget how to do that, or you don't know how to do that, you can click on it and it gives you examples, real life examples of all different kinds of journal articles and how to cite them. So there's journal article with, with a DOI and a journal article with no DOI. How do I cite that? Journal articles with um, certain numbers of authors are cited differently. So um, we also refer back to original sources um, and other resources that we think you would find helpful to kind of supplement what we have, we have put in these guides. So if we head back to this getting started tab, here we are referring back to the APA style site. So they actually have a lot of good information on the APA style. On their site, they have a tutorial, they have webinars, they have pages, sort of like with the reference examples like we have. Um, and they also have a blog and that the blog kind of covers things that they get asked about a lot, but they don't necessarily um, put in a quick guide like the one, like the one we have here. Um, Purdue OWL is also a good place to go for citing. Um, they do a pretty comprehensive quick guide 
on these citation styles and they do it in a user friendly way. It's, it's easy to go through. Uh, but if you are doing a lot of papers in APA, you're going to want to get the publication manual. That is the most comprehensive guide to APA. Um, so, I mean, our guide is good for really quick things, how to format the paper, how to cite a journal article. But if you have something that's a little more uh, less common or um, isn't covered in this guide, you really want to look in that publication manual. And if you do ask a librarian, which is perfectly fine, if you ask us, and we don't know off the top of our heads, guess where we're going to go? We're going to go to the publication manual and look it up. So um, it's a really valuable resource to have if you, if you are going to be citing a lot of stuff in APA. So heading back to the list of guides, we also have guides that are um, for the different departments. So we have applied behavioral analysis, um, we have for the dental hygiene, and we also have guides for specific classes. So if they have a, a particular research project that they do in the class, uh, we'll create a guide for them to kind of help them, uh, to guide them, if you will, um, through the process of their project. So here we have one for EN 106, one of our undergraduate um, intro level courses. And so usually in this course, they do a research paper at some point in the semester, usually in the middle to end. And so we have a guide here that goes over choosing a topic, gathering background information, the differences between Google search or a database search, creating a search strategy. I mean, you, can, you see them all up here. And this is all stuff that when a librarian comes to your class, which we frequently do uh, for this particular course, we cover all of this. And so, I mean, we, we only have 50 or 75, sometimes less than that, minutes um, to cover all of this. So there might be stuff that, you know, you still have questions on or stuff that you don't remember. We throw a lot of information at you when we come in and we don't expect you to remember everything. So we have these guides for you to refer back to um, if you need help with something more specific, like creating a search strategy, or how do I evaluate my sources, that sort of thing. So going back to the list again, I'm going to show you one of our other specific um, course slash department um, discipline guides that we have. And so this nursing scientific inquiry and evidence for clinical practice, that's for, covers a, a few of our upper level um, undergraduate slash masters nursing program classes. And so when you go into it, it kind of goes through a master's level research. So forming a PICO or a PCOT question, search strategy, what does primary sources mean in as far as um, master's level research, what is secondary source, quantitative versus qualitative, those sort of things that are covered in your nursing research classes. So we do cover a lot of information in these guides over a variety of different levels and subject matter. Um, so I really encourage you to check it out, browse through it, see if there's anything that pops out to you. Say, oh, you know what, I really have a lot of questions about that. Um, and of course, you can always, always email us or get in touch with us. You can set up a research consultation with a librarian, which I showed how to do in our contact us, library contact us video. So check out that video for more information on that. Um, but that is all I have for the research guides in a nutshell. But again, please, if you have any questions, we are more than happy to answer them. And I hope you stay well and stay safe. And thank you for listening.